Hi guys, Michael Miles78 back again with another video. Of course, this is um, my um, sorry, this is part two of my RO video collection. Um, of course, part one contained my sets, box sets, a couple of steel books, and my slipcase editions. Um, part two of this RO video is going to be all of my um, um, regular Amory um, editions. So, yep, let's um, quickly go on with the video and kick off part two of my RO video collection. Um, and first up, as you can see in front of me, is the classic The Stuff. Excellent 1980s kind of horror comedy. Um, thoroughly enjoyed this. It's an excellent disc. It's got some really great extras on there as well. Um, fantastic stuff. Um, so, yep. Um, just open it up and I look at the inside. Yep. Great stuff. I love the colour of the discs really there on that. So, yep, that's the stuff. Um, next up, we have the excellent Rollerball. Um, another fantastic movie um, starring James Caan. Um, thoroughly enjoyed Rollerball. Um, not seen it for a little while, but I've watched it a few times in the past and thoroughly enjoyed it. Really excellent little film. Um, some decent extras on this as well, this release. So, yep, that's Rollerball. Great stuff. Um, next up is um, The Hound of the Baskervilles, starring Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. I um, love that artwork. I have the a reproduction quad poster of of that artwork actually, and it really is pretty cool looking. Um, excellent little film as well. Love Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, excellent um, little hammer kind of um, werewolf flick. So yep, um, excellent movie. And a pretty decent, pretty pretty good disc as well. Hound of the Basketballs. Um, if you can hear the theme tune in the background, it's cause um, Zombie Flesh Eaters is playing in the background. Um, but yep, um, back to my Amory Arrow releases. And next up we have Phenomena. Um, this has um, recently been released in limited edition um, but I'm quite happy enough um, to to stick with this regular Amory release I love that artwork I love the I would prefer it if they'd used the um, monkey with the um, razor blade the creepers um, artwork the monkey with the razor blade on the front, but, you know, because I believe that was one of the covers that was in the original, the original phenomena they released in the window box edition, um, but yep, it's got some excellent um, extras on it as well, it's an excellent release, quite happy to keep hold of this one. Um, next up is the Fantastic Exterminator. Um, Another excellent um, exploitation kind of action flick. Um, um, Robert Ginty, of course, love this movie. Excellent stuff. Um, totally and of course totally fully uncut now. Um, but yep, um, I missed I I I missed the. Um, 
window box edition of this, um, which, but I'm quite happy with this one, I love that artwork again, of course, the artwork by the d designed Thomas Hodge, um, who does some excellent artwork um, for a lot of the Blu-rays and stuff, so, yep, great stuff, Exterminator, great film. Um, next up, we have the Super Battalion Zombie Flick, Nightmare City. Fantastic film, again, I love a little piece of Italian horror, especially the zombie films. Um, this has some really excellent extras on it as well. Fantastic film, this really enjoyed Nightmare City. Um, and I love that little booklet on the inside, that working for the booklet is absolutely stunning. Um, yep. That's Nightmare City, fantastic release. Um, next up we have another Argento classic, Tenebrae. Um, again a film that Arrow have released two or three times in different limited editions, different editions. I just don't understand it to be honest, it's just more money, looking for more money I suppose, but you know. I'm quite happy to stick with this edition, um, it's got the original artwork um, and some excellent extras on this release um, and there you have the inside so yeah I'm quite happy to stick with this release, um, no problems at all, excellent movie. Um, next up is the absolutely nuts and funny as hell microwave massacre um i don't know if this was originally planned to be a serious horror film because it just it's just not you just cannot take this film serious at all it is funny as hell just some of the lines in it are, some of the dialogue in the lines in it are unbelievable um of course, you can read in the back there, um, light lines such as I'm so hungry I could eat a hua. Um, vegetarians need not apply. Absolutely nuts film. Um, like I said, cheesy and absolutely funny as hell. I love this. Um, and that artwork is absolutely brilliant. Um, great stuff. Uh, I really love it when Arrow bring out these little obscure f um, 80s films, um, little obscure 70s and 80s films for that matter, um, yep, great stuff, Microwave Massacre. Um, next up we have Vincent Price, Peter Laurie. Peter Lohr and Boris Karloff in The Raven. Excellent little film. I love a little bit of Vincent Price. Um, fantastic artwork there, of course, as well. Um, decent little release as well. It's got some um, pretty decent extras on this. Um, quite an impressive little release. So, yep, that's The Raven. Um, next up is... The Demons Amory release from my Arrow collection. Um, like I said, I think it was in the last video, I already have the um, Steelbook 1 and 2 Steelbook and I have um, Part 2 in a window box edition. I have been looking for the window box edition of the first one but I'm pretty happy to um, pretty happy to just be you know, just to have this one. I love Demons, it's a great film. Um, excellent horror film. Um, of course, this is a dual format release. Um, so yeah, it has a little booklet. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this release. Don't have a problem in keeping hold of this release. It doesn't really bother me if I don't end up getting the window box release, to be honest. So yeah, that's Demons. Um, next up we have the strange, decent but strange little film, The Visitor. Um, 
It's like a strange, strange, strange little film, this. But, you know, it kind of grew on me. I ended up actually quite enjoying it. Um, like it says in the back, it's a little, it's a, a bit of an oddity, this film. Um, and, like I said, it grew on me. I actually thought it wasn't too bad to finish up. Um, yep. Decently, I don't think it's not a film that I would go watching again and again. Um, maybe watch it two or three times, and then you know, I probably wouldn't watch it for years later. So, yep, um, actually, quite like that cover up to be honest. Pretty nice. Um, next up is the fantastic, superb invasion of the body snatchers. Um, just give me one second guys, yeah guys sorry about that, uh, back again, I was just putting off the um, zombie flesh eaters disc, um, yep, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, absolute classic film, um, starring Donald Sutherland, um, love this film, I really, I love the original, I love um, these kind of films, the original, when I first watched the original, I thought it was a brilliant movie. Um, I love the 50s kind of sci-fi and creature feature and horror flicks. But this remake was um, excellent. Really enjoyed this. Um, yep, that's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Um, next up, we have the absolutely nutty... Crazy Nico Masterakis film, Island of Death. Of course, this was one of the ones that was on the DPP Video Nasties list of the early 80s. Um, now, completely uncut, of course, on Blu ray in the UK, which I never thought I would, I would see, but there you go. Um, yep, Island of Death. Crazy cover. Um, Quite like that's um, yeah, the, the, the original cover, of course. Um, yep, that's Island of Death. Amory, our overview the M um, Blu ray. Next up is the fantastic Motel Hell. Absolutely love this film. A little bit of tongue in cheek as well. I love that cover, classic cover that I remember from the, from the 80s. Um, and it has some excellent extras on this. Um, of course, it's Blu-ray and DVD um, combo. Um, as I said, really excellent extras, and I really enjoyed the film. Thoroughly enjoyable little film. A little bit of comedy in it as well, of course. Um, and uh, you can see the booklet there as well. Excellent stuff. Um, next up. We have David Cronenberg's classic, The Sh um, Shivers. Um, this is the corrected discs that are in this, the uncut disc. Um, remember the whole debacle of how there was a scene missing and took, uh, seemed to take our off for forever to get it sorted, but they eventually got it sorted and the um, started sending out the corrected discs. So this is the corrected discs that are in this. Um, and it's got excellent extras on there as well. Um, so, yep, excellent movie. Brilliant film. David Cronenberg Shivers. Um, next up is the excellent The Pit and the Pendulum. Edgar Allan Poe's Pit and the Pendulum. Another one with Absolutely great artwork on the front, um, and some really excellent extras as well on this. So some really good extras on there. Um, of course, um, Vincent Price, um, our Vincent Price uh, flick, um, like a bit of um, Vincent Price, like a lot of his stuff. So yep. Um, next up is the excellent 
um, Wes Craven, uh, The People Under the Stairs, um, excellent film, really enjoyed this the very first time I watched it. Thought it was a bit strange to start with, um, but then I really started getting into it and thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, excellent film um, and an excellent release by Arrow as well. Um, Next up, we have The Burbs, absolute classic, black comedy, suburban blood comedy from the 80s, and um, I've got to say, by far, Tom Hanks' best film by a mile, um, absolutely fantastic film, I absolutely love The Burbs, um, you know, the goings on in the suburban neighbourhood is the things that Hunks and the neighbours get up to is pretty unbelievable, really funny. Um, so yeah, the burbs, great stuff. Um, I actually was originally going to buy the steel book of this, but decided to get the armory instead. I preferred the armory, obviously, because his reversible art and stuff. So um, yeah, I was quite, um, I was quite. Quite happy to get the the Amory release. Um, so yep. Sorry about that, guys. Just trying to get back into the case. Um, yep, that's um, the burbs. Um, next up we have um, House by the Cemetery. This is just the regular one disc um, release. Um, I have it on DVD. This um, I I have it on DVD Arrow DVD, which I'll show you in part three of my Arrow collection videos. Um, the, the DVD, of course, is a two-disc edition with the poster and the booklet. This one obviously doesn't have the um, poster and the booklet. Um, classic Fulci film, Loved House by the Cemetery, excellent slasher movie. Um, it's definitely one of my favourite top three Fulci films. Um, so, yep, that's um, House by the Cemetery. Next up is the magnificent Life Force. Thoroughly enjoyed Life Force. Great Tob Hooper, Toby Hooper film. And that artwork is absolutely blow, blow me away. That artwork. Sensational artwork. Um, great stuff. And an absolutely packed, absolutely packed disc with extras. This is absolutely packed with great extras on this, um, some great stuff on here, um, and it's an excellent, one of my, it's actually probably in my top 20 favourite Arrow releases of everything they have released, especially where Amory releases are concerned, um, of course I missed this, I missed out the steelbook, and the steelbook is out long out of print and goes for silly money now, so, but I'm quite happy to have this, I just love that artwork, um, so nice. Um, next up is Burnt Offerings, I felt this was a little bit of a strange one for Arrow to release, but so glad they did, the more, the more they released these kind of little 70s and 80s obscure films, the better. Um, they're, they're, they're giving the, they're giving, um, film collectors what they want, which is really good, um, some decent extras on this, it was a decent enough film, not too bad, um, Karen Black, of course, a legendary Oliver Reed in it as well, decent little film, pretty good, um, next up is the excellent, um, 80s set comedy Porky's, um, of course starring Kim Cattrall, um, fantastic film, 
I think Porky's was um, one of the very first um, six, 86, kind of 86 comedies I was introduced to um, back in the kind of early to mid 80s. Um, this and of course the private popsicle films, lemon popsicle stuff as well. Um, Porky's fantastic 80s sex comedy, brilliant stuff. Um, next up is the excellent release of Jack Hill film Spider Baby um, and some excellent artwork by Graham Humphreys of course on the front. Um, fantastic release this, absolutely brilliant release. Um, some great extras on here as well. Um, absolutely loaded um, and excellent. Um, you know, yep, it's just absolutely, absolutely loaded with stuff. Nice little booklet as well. So, yep, that's the excellent release of Spider Baby. Um, next up is one of my all-time favourite guilty pleasures, The Incredible Melting Man. I absolutely love this movie. I can't say enough about this film, it is a film that I can watch time and again and never get fed up of watching it, it's absolutely brilliant, and when Arrow announced that they were bringing this, releasing this in the UK, I was over the moon, because um, I absolutely love this film, um, I don't know what it is about it, I just love everything about this film, um, the, the way he goes along, the f you know, through the film, just bit by bit, just, you know, melts away into nothing, basically. Um, it is cheesy as hell, but, you know, like I said, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, and I have watched it several, several times, and never tire of it. Um, if you've never seen it, I suggest you watch Incredible Melt Man, because it is brilliant, fantastic stuff. Um, next up is the excellent Jeff Lieberman film Squirm. I really love all these kind of kind of icky, kind of gooey, kind of like bug type of bug type flicks. Um, you know stuff like Squirm and um, Slugs and they love um, sorry not they love. The Nest, um, all those kind of things, I love all those kind of movies. Um, so, yep, it's an excellent, excellent release. Um, thoroughly enjoyed this film, that's Squirm. Um, next up, we have the equally excellent Slugs. Another excellent one of those kind of killer, kind of little bug flicks. Um, you know, like I just said, I love all these kind of films, um, and this one is no different. Um, decent little release as well, some couple of good extras on there, and some great artwork. Artwork is absolutely fantastic stuff. Slugs, brilliant. Um, next up is the excellent Terry Gilliam flick, Time Bandits. Really enjoyed Time Bandits. I don't know why Arrow don't pick up any more of the Terry Gilliam stuff. Pretty strange, because um, you know he's he, he's done some good stuff over the years. Um, this is I think this is about this. I don't know if this is about the only one that Arrow have um, done. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure. I might be wrong, but you know. Um, I would like to see them do more Terry Gilliam stuff, release more Terry Gilliam stuff. So that's Time Bandits. Um, next up is another one of my favourite 80s slasher movies, Madman. I absolutely love Madman. I love 80s slasher movies. And this is definitely up there in my top top five. Um, don't say his name above a list, but Madman Mars. Fantastic stuff, and this is absolutely loaded with extras. Um, if you're a fan of 80s slasher movies and you've never seen Madman, 
and you're missing a treat because this is fantastic stuff. Really, really excellent little 80s slasher. Um, next up is the cheesy but superb Hell Comes to Frogtown, starring the late great Roddy Piper. Um, another movie that I can't say enough about. Um, another cheesy as hell film that I really love. Um, and this is this is the actually the limited to a thousand copies edition. Um, as soon as Arrow, I found out Arrow were releasing this, I pre-ordered it right away and got it through about a week or two weeks before its actual street date release. Um, this, uh, like I said, this is a two disc limited to a thousand copies release. Um, with the booklet and the two discs, as you can see, um, so not the new, the release that they was released just a few months back. So yep, that's how it comes to Frog Town, the limited to a thousand copies release. Um, next up is the pretty decent little killer car flick, the car. Um, quite enjoyed this, James Brolin, of course decent little film, some decent little extras on it, it's one of those um, MGM um, flicks of the 70s, um, you know, decent little movie, killer car flick, um, yeah, it's, it's recommended a watch, it's a good little watch. Um, next up is the absolute classic and iconic cover layer of zombie flesh eaters. Um, again, this is oh, I have this on DVD as well. The DVD has the double sided poster and the booklet. This just has the booklet with it. Um, I don't have the obviously as you've seen. I don't have the window box edition, and I don't have the steel book. They go for absolutely stupid money. Um, to be honest, I prefer the Armoury release, um, you know, it still has a absolutely shed load of extras on here, um, fun, still a fantastic release, um, and I just wouldn't pay the money for the Steelbook or the Winterbox edition, um, I'm quite happy with this, and I, like I said, I have the two disc DVD with the double sided poster. I also have the um, two disc Blue Underground Blu ray edition with a slip case of Zombie Flesh Eaters as well, um, which I'll be doing a video about um, a little later. That is a fantastic edition as well, and a great slip. Great embossed little slip cover with it for the Blue Underground release, but I'll do that in another video. But um, yeah, this is the Arrow release. Um, like I said, I have both DVD and Blu-ray. The Blu-ray just has the booklet. Um, iconic cover, of course, as I said, the arm coming out of the ground. Um, possibly one of my, not possibly, definitely as. One of my favourite zombie films of all time. Fantastic stuff, zombie flesh eaters. Um, next up is the excellent Blood and Black Lace. Another one which I was going to pick up the steel book, but then when I saw the I saw the artwork for the Armory release, I decided to go with the Armory. Um, I love that cover art. Um, and it's an absolutely fantastic release, absolutely loaded with stuff, with stuff. Um, great stuff on it as well, um, it's a three disc edition of course, um, yep, some excellent stuff, um, yep, Blood and Black Lace, Mario Bava, um, excellent stuff, um, next up is Another excellent little obscure 80s slasher, The Initiation. 
like I said, I love 80s slasher movies, and the more I can get of these, the better. Um, fun, uh, really enjoyable little 80s slasher list. Really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be doing a video um, at a later date with all my kind of favourite 80s slashers and stuff like, you know, and, and just kind of like favourite slasher films in general. Um, so look out for that in the future. But, yep, um, excellent little 80s slasher again. Um, if you've never seen it, it's well worth a watch. Good stuff. Um, next up is the... Um, Excellent Black Sabbath starring Boris Karloff. Um, again, another excellent release by Arrow. Some really good, some really good extras on this. Um, of course, um, two versions of the of the film. Excuse me, sorry. Um, two versions of the movie. Um, and I'm pretty sure again, yeah, it's a three. It's a three disc release. Um, so yep. Yeah. Um, Black Sabbath comes with an excellent little booklet as well. Um, excellent release, Black Sabbath. Um, next up is Brian De Palma's The Fury. Um, good, good little film. Excellent stuff. Um, some good extras on this as well. Well worth picking up if you don't have it. Um, so yep, that's The Fury. Um, another excellent release and some great cover art again, um, Bar and Blood, of course that's the um, original um, cover art. Um, another excellent release by Arrow, another excellent three disc release, um, some fantastic stuff. Um, like I said in the last video, Arrow just knock it out of the park with some of the releases and this one is no different. It's another excellent release. Three versions of the film. Of course, um, great stuff. Bar and Blood. Um, next up is the cheesy and, to be honest, quite shitty Hellgate. Um, this is the re-release. This is not the release that Arrow brought out a few years back. Limited to a thousand. The same as they did with um, um, the same as they did with I think it was the Hill Comes to Frog Town I think um, but yep um, it's a South African film made to look American and it is quite shitty to be honest but you know that is what it is I've picked it up anyway it's part of my other collection um, I, like, uh, I really like the artwork, the artwork is excellent of course, um, once again Graham Humphrey's artwork, um, fantastic stuff, just a pity that the film is crap, basically um, I think the cover art's about the best thing about the film to be perfectly honest, um, it's not one I would revisit anytime soon, um, next up is excellent uh, Gallo Flick, Dario Argento's Cat and Nine Tales, um, excellent little film, um, great stuff, um, quite, uh, again this is one that was released in window box edition, um, I'm quite, I'm quite happy to, to just have this regular Amory release, um, next up is another Fulci classic, The Black Cat, um, another really good Fulci movie, um, some decent extras, again this is one of course they released in a limited edition kind of set, but again like I said I'm quite happy just with this regular Armoury release, um, quite happy just to own it as it is with this, um, yep, and excellent artwork there course so yeah um, next up is the excellent 80s werewolf flick the beast within um, love this movie fantastic stuff um, totally deserves the release it got by Arrow um, 
it's, it, it, it's a really one of those 80s films that you would revisit every now and again. Um, really enjoyable little 80s kind of like, um, sorry, um, werewolf kind of flick, you know, um, great stuff, um, The Beast Within. Next up is the absolutely fantastic and superb trauma flick, Class of Nukem High. Um, I absolutely love this movie. It's cheesy as hell, but funny as hell as well. Went to the bargain. Um, it just has a bit of everything in here. The, the gore, everything, the goo, everything about it is brilliant. What's not to like about a trauma film, to be honest? Um, yep, great stuff. That's hell comes to um, sorry, class of Nukem High. I don't know where I got hell comes to Frogtown from, but no, it's class of Nukem High. Um, and that artwork again, of course, brilliant stuff. Um, I have the original big box X rental of this on VHS as well. Um, of course, Graham Humphrey's cover art. Um, fantastic stuff. Great film. Um, next up is the equally cheesy, shitty but lovable Return of the Killer Tomatoes, um, The Vegetables of Doom. Um, I love these films, I just can't get enough of these shitty kind of B-movie um, type films of the 80s. I absolutely love these films, I could watch them again and again. Um, Yep, um, a decent little release this actually, it's got some not too bad extras on it, um, and the cover art of course, excellent stuff. Um, next up is another um, 80s slasher, Satan's Blade, um, it was decent, it was alright, nothing spectacular, but again it's another one of those um, obscure... 80s slasher films that Arrow just keep bringing out and you know it's got so a couple of decent extras on it nothing too spectacular but again like I said it's another one of those little obscure 80s slashers um, that Arrow have brought out and giving once again giving the collector what they want of course Satan's Blade um, Next up is The House of Usher, um, another excellent um, Vincent Price um, flick. Um, I'm quite happy to own all of these individually. Of course, these were the movies that were in the Vincent Price limited edition box set, which at the time I didn't have the money for, but I'm quite happy to own them individually on individual armory release. So yep, that's the House of Usher. Um another pretty decent little Vincent Price film. Um next up is another uh, Vincent Price movie, Theatre of Blood. Decent little film. Pretty good um little release this as well. Um nothing too spectacular but it, it's a decent enough little release. Um so, yep, Theatre of Blood. Um, next up is Deadly Blessing. Wes Craven. Fantastic film. Excellent film. Um, another one of those um, 80s films I really, really enjoyed. Um, a couple of not too bad extras on this, of course. It's also the um, two disc. Blu-ray and DVD, um, dual format release, so yep, deadly blessing. Um, next up is Remo. Of course, Remo Williams, the full title if you want to call it, um, The Adventure Begins. It's quite a lot of really good extras on this, actually. It's a really good release by Arrow. Um, really, actually, entertaining little, little action film, to be honest. Um, really pretty good, um, well worth a look. Um, next up 
a chai recently picked up is dead end driving. I also have this in Aerodrome um, DVD. Um, I'll keep the two of them, but I absolutely love that artwork. Um, for this dead end driving, that artwork is absolutely superb. Um, fantastic stuff. Um, a decent little release as well. Not too bad. Um, kind of exploitation. Kind of set in the future exploitation flip. Really enjoyable. Quite like this. Um, next up is Inferno, another one that's had, uh, of course it had the window box release um, right at the beginning but I'm happy with this release, um, another excellent Argento flick, um, if you love Argento of course then this is up there with one of his best, um, yep, Inferno, great stuff. Next up is another excellent cheesy 80s B flick, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, what is not to love about Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I absolutely love this film, another one of those um, really cheesy as hell B movies from the 80s that I just can't get enough of watching. And it is a pretty excellent release as well. There's a lot of good extras on this. Um, it was given, it was it was given the love and the care and the attention that it that that it deserved. And Arrow certainly gave it an excellent release. So yep, um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, fantastic stuff. Um, next up is the one and only and superb. John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China. Um, great release. I missed out in the steel book, which of course is out of print now and goes for silly money. Um, but, you know, again, I'm quite happy with this Armory release. It still has all the excellent extras on it that the steel book has, and, you know, the artwork is fantastic as well. Can't go wrong with that. Great stuff. Um, Next up is an, another um, Cronenberg, little Cronenberg classic, Hubbard. Um, another one of those little Canadian films, I love this. thought it was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, it's another one of those releases that has some really, um, some really good extras on there as well. Great movie, rabid, brilliant stuff. Um, another 80s cheesy B-movie that I thoroughly enjoyed, Night of the Comet, great stuff, thoroughly enjoyable, um, well worth picking up if you've never, if you don't have it or you've never seen it, and of course it is Catherine Mary Stewart and Kelly Maroney who was in Chopping Mall and Zero Boys of course, um, yep, Night of the Comet, great stuff, well worth a look, um, Next up, speaking of Kelly Maroney, um, The Zero Boys, this is one of these films I absolutely loved, one of those kind of um, Blackwood um, kind of horror action type movies similar to Hunter's Blood and stuff like Deliverance, if you love those kind of films then you'll love The Zero Boys, um, absolutely great stuff, fantastic film, really enjoyed this, I have the um, I have the big box um, X rental VHS of this with the absolutely superb cover art, um, which I wish Arrow had used for this release, but they didn't. Um, that was pretty disappointing, but still, great release by Arrow and one of those films I really enjoy watching, and it gets a regular watch from me. Great film. Um, next up is Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive. Um, pretty pretty good film, decent enough. Um, it's not my to Toby Hooper. F it's not my favourite Toby Hooper film, but um, you know, that's what it is. And this is absolutely loaded with extras. This release, it's a fantastic release. Um, can't go wrong really with this release. Um, 
great stuff eating alive. Um, next up is one of my all time favourite Vincent Price movies, Comedy of Terrors. Um, fantastic stuff. Um, Peter Laurie again, Vincent Price, um, Boris Karloff, I think, is in there. Yep, and Basil Rathbone as well, of course. And this has some really decent extras on it, actually, really good. Um, it's a fantastic release. Like I said, it's one of my um, favourite Vincent Price films. Um, Comedy of Terrors, great stuff, well worth a look. Um, next up is Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin, Delta Force. Love this film, another one of those cheesy B movie, uh, 80s B flicks, B action films. Really, really enjoyable. Wasn't keen on um, Delta Force 2, but I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. Um, and it has some decent extras on it. This release actually pretty good. Um, so, yep, um, that's a Delta Force with Chuck Norris. I love Chuck Norris. Um, I love the majority, especially his 80s stuff. Um, so, yep. Um, next up, we have another Vincent Price. Another slice of Vincent Price. It's Tomb of Legia or Legia or whatever way you want to pronounce it. Um, another great piece of cover art um, and a pretty decent little release by Arrow. Um, decent enough little film. Roger Corman, of course. Um, well worth a look. Um, next up is the excellent gangster flick. King of New York, um, starring the excellent Christopher Walken, um, and of course covered up by the Dude Designs, Tom Hodge, um, great stuff, um, yep, uh, decent, some decent extras on it as well, so yep, great film, well worth a watch. Um, next up is the Count Yorga Collection. Um, not the greatest of vampire films, but, you know, I bought it in the FOP sale um, for six quid. Um, so you can't really go wrong with that. Of course, Graham Humphrey's cover art again, of course, on the front. Um, great cover art. The films, as I said, are not the greatest, not the greatest vampire films you will ever see, but if you're a collector of Arrow releases, then... It's got to be in the collection, really. Um, so, yeah. And last but not least for my Arrow Video Amory releases, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. Or for short, I just call it Buckaroo Banzai. Um, so, yep. Um, really enjoyable little film. John Lithgow, Peter Weller, um, Ellen Barkin. Christopher Lloyd, Jeff Goldblum are all, 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 sorry, can't get my words out, are all in there. Um, excellent release, some really good extras on this as well. Um, really good release. So, yep, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, Across the Eighth Dimension. And there you have it, guys. That's um, part two of my Arrow video collection video has come to an end um, that was all my Arrow video Amory regular Amory releases um, I hope you have enjoyed um, this part 2 of my Arrow video collection um, if you do like the video um, please leave any comments if you wish any feedback would be appreciated um, and of course subscribe to my channel if you wish um, so part three of my Arrow video collection um, will be coming um, pretty soon and that will be all of my Arrow video DVDs um, and the one DVD box set that I have um, so um, stay tuned for that 
part three of my Arrow video collection will be coming uh, soon. I hope you will take a look at that. This is Michael Myers 78 signing off with another video um, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you.